Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the battle promo lands. These are the lands that you receive at the standard events. Your local game store should be running more standard events. And as one of the prizes for completing different accomplishments, you get a set of these. Now a set of them is one of each type. Each store is given anywhere between two sets and six sets. So anywhere between 10 total cards and 30 total cards. What is currently happening at my game store and many game stores, people are not running these events. And because people are not running these additional events, they are not receiving or the players cannot accomplish the goals. And because the players are not accomplishing the goals, the store just puts these online. And I do have some proof and you can go on TCG player and you can see that some buy sellers have anywhere between two to six of these available. The second thing I have, which is interesting, which is not really about the store front, I do wanna discuss the store doing this, uh, doing this action pretty much against the community now and then move on to the price point of these cards. Stores need to make money. Um, my previous store was owned by a guy named Graham. He lived in my apartment complex when I was in grad school. Really nice guy. He owned the store. His dream was to own a magic store. He lost his significant other. He lost his apartment. He had to move back home with his mom. May doing a magic store is incredibly difficult. It's so difficult, Wizards of the Coast can't even run its own magic store, which it tried in the past, and they all bankrupt. Or at least they had a bankruptcy sale. I remember that sale quite well. These lands, these special land promos from a standard legal set, you get 10 for core level stores, which is the basic one, 20 for advanced, and 30 for advanced plus. So you issue these to any player that joins six standard events at your store during that window. If I remember correctly, you had to go to multiple events every week, or at least two events one week. None of the local game stores I know of have multiple standard events. Some of them will have a standard event and a draft event. Some of them will have like a modern event or a EDH event. Promoting standard right now is not a good place to be. Um, standard, well, the Proto Armor Cat just passed, but even previous where you were supposed to get these promo cards and the stores were supposed to give them out. My gut feeling is not many of them were given out. And now I'm going to transition into the story of Comic Cat. Comic Cat is a large anime convention in Japan. My friend, C recently went there. I feel like two or three years ago. And one of the reasons you go to Comic Cat is because they have exclusive, quotation mark, exclusive items. Uh, so she spent quite a bit of money and she would send me like, well, on Instagram, send me pictures of these items and like, oh, you know, they're super exclusive. Do you want me to get you one? I was like, okay, I guess so. And the reason that these items, I value these items and C values them is because they took her a long time to get them. And it took her a airplane flight to Japan. It took her multiple hours in a long line and Comic Cat is in the summer. So it also was very hot. And she was in cosplay during the whole event. Which again, it's extremely humid in Comic Cat. So that's what these lands should be. They should be for people as we see uh, Cinder Glade. You see this bot person has free Cinder Glades. That seems like a lot. I don't know where this person is buying them or if they went to three different pre-releases or not pre-releases, uh, standard events and did six standard events or they did a total of 18 standard events. Unlikely, right? It is likely that Cool City Games is a store that is selling their stock of promos and they did not give it to their players. The prices of these promos is extremely interesting from an MTG finance aspect because it shows me these promos should be going to players who really value the experience. 
oh, I went to six different standard events and I did X, Y, Z. And it was a really good time. It's not really worth my money, but I had a great time and I'm not going to sell this. It seems that the large majority of stock of this is on TCG Player. Remember, there's not many of these cards around. But why are there so many on TCG Player and why are they so cheap? It makes extremely little sense to me that you can get this one for $675. As Pittsburgh, you, you're going to see the same seller. It's worth just multiple copies of multiple of these. Four or five copies of the same one and then normally you know sets of those four or five copies depending on what they sold. These... Especially the blue white one is very good at four dollars worth shipping, and the green white one is four dollars worth shipping too. How are these cards four dollars when they are so extremely limited and they're very difficult to get? Take away the difficult to get, and there you go. That's why the price point is where it is. You don't have people, and you can see the market price is twelve dollars. That's Really not correct on this card because even the 675 you can get eBay for four. You can get eBay any of these except for Cinder Glade, which is the one in Tamir, if it were Tamir, uh, for under five dollars easily. And people on eBay are selling complete play sets of four, which should be almost impossible to actually get as a player. But if you are a store, you can see this is $4.50 with shipping, which is very unique. These ones are, in my opinion, just beautiful artwork. I like the artwork a lot. They are the Expedition version of the artwork made into a normal frame. And there's a lot less of these than Expeditions, in my opinion. I would take a guess, because given how much Battle for Zendikar was open, so much of it was open. This is a more limited product. Yes, it's not foil. Yes, it's not full art. But at the same time, I can't imagine these being $4 if they were so difficult to get. If you had to do six standard events in, I believe, a month, maybe less than a month, that's a lot of standard events. That's like, I think when I calculate, it was like 1.25 or 1.5 standard events a week. That's not easy to do, especially given how boring Standard is recently. Yeah, you have new zombie decks, but this event was previous to that where you just played Gideons. You played Gideons versus Gideons versus Nyssa versus more Gideons against Mar Mardu vehicles. If something is difficult to get, it becomes valuable. That is the lesson I learned from Comic Cat. The quality of the cards leaves, the quality of the playmats, the quality of the figures that my friend got from Comic Cat were not much higher. And, you know, prize figures are prize figures, whatever. I'm not going to go into that. Now, my opinion about prize figures versus scale figures. It's the experience, right? It is the experience of it. So when I went to San Diego Comic Con in 2000 and I want to say 6 or 2005, I, I want to say 2006, uh, they had a booth uh, for something called Skeleton Animals, and I was able to pick up a red, and I still have it. I took it out of the uh, plastic, which devalued it, a red kit. And if you know Skeleton Animals, that is the first red Skeleton Animal. Most Skeleton Animals are black, and then when Target picked it up, so it was kind of a niche product, and then Target picked it up, and that product became very expensive. I know that finally, like friends had seen it in my dorm. I went to NYU. So they had seen it in my dorm, NYU dorm and they knew it, what it was. And they weren't like geeky people, right? And when I took it down to law school down in uh, William Mary, even those people knew what it was. Cause they were like, oh my God, that's the red cake. Cause at that time Target made like a Halloween commercial or something. It was really trending up. And I know, um, some of my friends who were moms at the time really wanted that for their daughters and son. You know how long, but I couldn't part with it. There was no way I could part with something like that because I stood in line with my friend Jessica for over, I want to say two and a half hours. And when we got there, they had lots of them, but you could only buy, uh, I think one or two products a person. And I, 
I mistakenly bought a different product, which was not limited. I know in hindsight, it was really dumb, right? Two mistakes I made. I, I bought the non-red kit product instead of, I bought just a regular skeleton animal product. I was like, oh, cool. I'll buy this one in black. And I'll buy this one in red. I think it was another kit in black, if I can remember correctly. But I would never sell it for any price. Because it reminds me of the event. It reminds me of a different time. There's some cards that are like that. This is one of the cards that is supposed to be like that. This is one of the cards that is supposed to be, oh, I had a really good time. This is what I received. And from ever, I'm going to value these cards because I played these main people. I, I learned magic. I was teaching magic. I was got... You know, such a great experience from this event. Thank you, Wizards of the Coast, for putting it on. No one put on the damn event. And all these have been posting online from these stores. <laughs> and it's going to end up as one of those promos that is not special. Now, it is unique. It is limited, but not special. Because there's no difficulty in obtaining them. That's why they are $4 right now. That's why they are $4 for shipping. There's no difficulty in obtaining them. Limited, beautiful, collectible, not difficult to get. Every store has put theirs online. It makes me sad, right? Because I am one of those people who want to go to the San Diego Comic Con, who want to go to uh, Comic Cat. And, and that's the experience of like, it's a terrible experience because you're waiting in line and it's really boring and stuff and it's crowdy and sweaty, but you're with your friends. Like when you're playing magic with your friends and you, and you just get one of these and you give it to your friend, I mean, that's awesome. I, I'm, I'm very sad that that will happen with these cards. Uh, anyway, and you know, I'll, I'll, from now on, I'll tell you how many of these cards I own. I own zero. And I have no interest in owning any of these. Although stores have offered to sell them to me and multiple play sets, I just don't have any interest in them because they don't have any value to me. That kit, that red kit, doesn't, it's not valuable anymore because Skeleton Animals has like gone out of trend. I still have it. I still love it. It's still in my home. Uh, I would never trade it away. And that's what I felt these lands could be. So I'm disappointed for the casual player or the new player or a um, younger player that they don't have the opportunity to experience that if you know it's a bunch of young players and they're playing together and they're like oh you know cool i remember that i remember having a foil squee goblin naboo when it was so expensive and the reason it was so awesome to me was all my friends wanted it right this could be this could have been uh, someone's card like that anyway bye guys